Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of Feast With Me, where we're all about bringing good food, good wine, and great conversation to your home. I'm here today with a really good friend of mine, fitness buff, I don't know how she does it, Bubbles Para Isa. Hello everyone. Hey Bubbles. Hi. Okay, so you asked for something with meat. Yes. Why? I was a vegetarian for 16 years, okay. and when I got into triathlons, I had to start eating meat, and now I can't get enough of it. And so I learned how to cook a few years ago, mm -hmm. but since I didn't really eat meat, I never really got understood it. and got it and practiced it. So okay. now that I've been eating meat, I'm like, okay, I need to learn more, more. about this. So. Okay, great. So today we'll be making fajitas with steak. I always like to incorporate a lot of flavors, a lot of different cultures into the food just to make it more exciting okay. and we will be loading this with a lot of great superfood to fuel yeah. your body so actually guys this would be perfect for a keto diet if you don't use the tortilla for this recipe we'll be using flank steak so flank steak is actually a cut of beef that's quite lean okay? okay so if you're conscious about let's say cholesterol or you know too much fat in your food flank steak is really great and it's also very flavorful. It's also very cost-effective. Flank steak will cost you less than a rib eye or a tenderloin. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna cut this into strips. If you pick that up, you'll see that it's marbled, right? Yes. Because we cut it across the grain. So you have the lines going this way, and you have to cut it across the line, so perpendicular. Okay. So when you cook it and when you bite into it, it breaks apart. So we'll be marinating this in a little bit of Spanish paprika. And then, that's cumin seed. I love cumin, it's a very warm and smoky spice. So we can just a little bit, not too, too much, okay? Yeah, a little bit more maybe. Okay, perfect. And some chili powder. Okay, we love chili. Chili powder is great. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so we have chipotle. So chipotle is a smoked chili. And let's add some olive oil to this. Okay. Salt and pepper. And like that, I invite you and then I make you cook. <laughs> I like using pink Himalayan salt because it's just a lot less sodium content with all the flavor. So go ahead and sprinkle all over and then we can just stir it together. It's not a problem. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit, okay? Just a little bit while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. Okay. So we have one bell pepper, yellow, red. You can use some green as well. But I thought instead of green, I'm gonna add whole chilies in there just to saute. Now we're gonna slice one red onion. I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic. We're gonna do, okay, very hot pan. Generous amount of butter. And we're gonna give the steak. So I'm just gonna quickly sear this like this, okay? Really nice color. I'm gonna move it to my little serving plate. Flank steak, cut thin, cooks really fast. That wasn't even one minute, yeah, okay? Was, yeah. It's just like that, That's okay? Perfect. And in all those yummy steak juices, we're gonna cook yeah. our veggies. veggies. Okay. Our onions. Okay. Stay safe to eat colorful food. That's really healthy for you, and that's because Colorful food means you have a variety of food yes. with a variety of nutritional properties and really, really great vitamins, minerals for you, okay? I'm just gonna throw this in. If you want something really spicy, you can slice it up, okay? okay? But I feel like sometimes people don't like too spicy, yeah. so you can just adjust later on. I'm just gonna throw it in. I'm gonna let this cook until it's soft, okay? okay. So we're gonna let this cook until it's soft. That's why I took the steak out first so it doesn't overcook. Okay, then we'll mix it all back together. At this point, I'm gonna throw in the garlic. Right. Stir that in. Then 
while that's being softened, okay. we're gonna make um, a little guacamole. Okay. Okay, super good. My version of guacamole has red raw onion, very simple. Get a tomato, like this. Then we've got our avocado. Dun, dun, dun. Looks like it's good. Perfection! I get so happy, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's like perfect! I'm I get super so happy. happy. Every time look at that! Like, look at that! Gold, nothing yeah. black, nothing I know. Look at that, oh my god, avocado heaven right there. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out of the heat. So basically this is a mix of a guacamole and a pico de gallo. Yeah, okay, okay. just kind of stuck it all together. This is all about taking global flavors in a home setting. Yeah, okay, so yeah. this is what I love to do. I like to get inspired by you know you different countries, different flavors, and you mix everything. And most importantly, you do what works. You wanna do that? Let's mix that up. I'm gonna slice. We're gonna heat up a separate pan so that we can heat our tortillas. I am actually just gonna stick all this meat back into the pan with the bell peppers. Put that in there. Toss that all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it another seasoning, all of this together. So guys, this is a dry pan. Okay, I'm just heating it up. I have here today a Malbec from Argentina. It is really quite a smoky wine. It's very rich. And the reason why is because bell pepper is an extremely strong flavor. And don't forget, guys, we put chipotle, we put chili powder, we put smoked paprika. So any old, let's say, cab sauve that's just, you know, regular cabs, all of those um, delicate qualities in a cab sauve will be completely lost on this food, okay? okay? So you need something that can match the power stuff. and strength of this. Almost done. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got some fresh cilantro. Okay. Nice. And a little bit of, you're okay with dairy, right? Yeah. A little bit of sour cream. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Doesn't that look so good? It looks super good. <laughs> it looks really good, it right? Looks super good. There we go. And I mean, look at that rich color, guys. Yeah, it is purple. Right? It is a purple, purplish color. Very few wines have a purplish color. Shall we? Cheers. This is the best part. This is my favorite part of the show. We get to eat what we make. So good. Let me know what you think. So I actually like to build it kind of like a taco. I'm gonna try to have the tortilla first. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no flour for you, no. You're gluten free. Mhm. Mm mmm. Is it any good? Let's see. In the man, I like to bite it all together. Okay, let's try. It's really good. Mmm. Mm. You can taste the chipotle, like it just glides through your tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the meat is well seasoned, that's really great. Nice and smoky, right? Yeah. Let's try it with the wine. It's actually a really good combo with the wine. Again, it's really hard to pair up bell peppers, smoky layered food with wine. But Malbec is one of those really wonderful wines that are just so strong and powerful that you can pair it with this kind of food. Hmm. Okay, I actually want to know a little bit more about what you've been up to okay. um, and what's been keeping you busy. Well, I've, been so, I've still been teaching yoga and then I am crazy enough that I signed up for another Ironman 70.3 race. Oh my god, this is your how many F race? For this year, my third. Four. Are you serious? Four races in total, and your third this year, it's not even, like yeah. the year's not even over. It's, it's halfway through the year. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so I've been training for it. I mean, this is my third 70.3, but I've been racing smaller races also, aside from that, like Olympic distances. Um, I did she calls that 
smaller races. Olympic yeah. distances <laughs> are smaller. <laughs> ano pa yan? Yeah, ka. so yeah, so I'm just getting ready for that. So I train twice a day, and then I teach, and I handle, of course, my businesses. Um, and then I, yeah, I did, I, did, I sometimes don't know how I can do it and how That's I crazy. still have energy. And I have a fitness show as well. I think it's because of that because I'm a yoga teacher and I'm a triathlete, so it's good balance. Yes, it's a good in balance. A way, and I'm also a... a host and an actress. Oh so they're like, okay, we're giving you a fitness show, so yeah. <laughs> That's great. What's so. your biggest achievement to date? For try, I won second place in Ironman 70.3 Super. Wow! Look yeah. at second place. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even have. I probably would have just drowned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a lousy swimmer. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, that's so that amazing! Is, yeah, that is Fantastic! Thing. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Well, crossing fingers for your next race. Thank okay. you. Um, all right, before we wrap up and just keep eating because yes. we need to fuel her for her next race. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I just have a couple of quick fire questions. Okay. okay? <gasps> all right. That's okay. It's easy. <laughs> all right. So we'll start with what did you have for breakfast? I just had nuts and coffee. What? Nuts and coffee, yeah. yeah. Okay, what is your favorite cuisine? Oh, sorry. If it was your last meal on earth, what would you have? Steak. <laughs> Steak. Without even batting an Steak eyelash. Steak, Steak, wow, I love it. Okay, if you had one ingredient that you just really hated, what would it be? I Ooh, <laughs> apples. You don't like apples? I don't eat apples. Why? And watermelon. Why? The texture is so weird and with watermelon it's like the taste is almost there but not quite. <laughs> so it's like you've eaten so many already and nothing's happening so it's like no. And for the apple, if it's apple juice, I'm fine. But if it's an apple apple, it's just, it, it's weird for me. Okay, um, what is your biggest indulgence or guilty pleasure? Chocolates, especially cookies. Yeah. I love cookies. Yeah, so okay, uh, lastly, it's been a really, really stressful day. You were stuck in traffic. Um, you just, you're super swinging and you get home and all I want is... Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Thank 